Namaste everyone, my name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com and today you're coming into my kitchen because we're going to be making ozone alkaline shungite water and this is what I have. So what we're looking at right here is a gallon of this alkaline 10 pH spring water. Best water on the planet. No, I'm not getting paid by these people once again. <laughs> I just love this water. Uh, hopefully you can find it in your area and I guarantee you'll love it just as much. What I'm using is I have some shungite rocks. I have five of them that I've cleaned off. And I'm using this, I think the name is called Primula but it's a, it's a Primula Infuse, and as you can see down here, BPA-free. I know ideally, you know, if I could find something like this in glass, that would be even better, but this is what I'm using right now. So what I have here, oh gosh, I probably should have opened this thing up before I started the video. There we go. So what I got is this thing is called an infuser, okay? So apparently you, you can put tea in there or whatever and make iced tea with it. But I use it for my shungite. So it's that simple. So we, this is <laughs> a little difficult to do, one-handed. <laughs> as I'm fumbling around. Let's try it with my other hand. But that's as simple as it is. You know, you, you put the shungite into the infuser, <laughs> knock it over a couple times, which does make it easier to get on. Okay, that's on. And then put that aside for now. And take your water. We got this beautiful, 10 pH spring water that we're adding to it. And dump it in. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our water and walk over here to my uh, ozone machine you can see I love this water. <laughs> anyway, I've got an ozone machine here. And it's an ozone generator by A2Z Ozone Incorporated. And I'll leave a link for all this stuff in the more info, info section below if you're interested in this. So what I do is there's a diffuser on the end of this. And that just simply goes... into the pitcher of water. And then I turn my ozone machine on. And the rest is magic. And it'll turn on any second now, there it goes. So you can actually, you know, if you're standing above it, smell the ozone that's going into the water. Now water is Typically H2O, so this makes it H3O. You don't have to stir it around either, but there's times where I do, and what I'll do is I'll stir, stir it clockwise and put positive intentions in it, and then I'll stir it counterclockwise and do the same thing. If I'm making like an individual glass of water with one of my sigil glasses. But uh, in this case, I'm just gonna let it sit in there um, and absorb the ozone. I mean, I'm, I'm standing a good arm's length away right now and I can smell the ozone coming out from the diffuser through the water. But this is something that I came up upon when I was thinking about that because what I've been doing is using my, I'm using myself as a basically a guinea pig for DNA experiments and one of the things I do, so let me just go back here and I'll show you guys. 
yummy. Oh, one of the things I do, let me grab one of those glasses, is I have, this is a glass I made. I had a sigil made that basically says all of the codons in my DNA are open. And so that's, that's what this sigil means. So what happens is I'll take this glass and I'll put alkaline water in it. Then I'll bring it over to the ozone machine and I'll stir it around, like I said, both clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, there are times where we've seen, you know, those in power, the dark cabal use sigils against us and use reversals against us. And I thought, you know, why can't we use that for the light too? So I use the sigil for the light, you know, because once all my codons are open, I can heal myself and others in humanity's best interest, including Mother Earth. So I'm using the sigil um, and I'm also doing, like I said, the, the reversal. So all my codons are open. Reversed is Nipo Era Snodak Yimphala. So I'll, I'll say that when I'm, when I'm putting in the ozone and putting in my thoughts and intentions on activating all the codons in my RNA and DNA. So that's long enough for now. Um, you can put it in for as long as you want. You know, I typically would put it in for about half an hour or so, or a minimum 20 minutes, but for the sake of the video, <laughs> that's going to be long enough for now. So what we do is now we have our, we have our infuser with our shungite inside and just stick her in and twist the top. See if I can get that. Yep. That's it. And then... Toss it in the refrigerator, not literally, more or less gently place it in the refrigerator, and there you go. Alkaline, ozone, shungite water, the best water possible. Now, what I also do, and I'll do another video on this, it'll be a separate video, but I have this stuff, it's called Levi water. It costs a little bit less than the Alkalife. I think this goes for maybe, I don't know, $3 a, a gallon or something like that. But this is a, a 9 pH water. Uh, and it's really good. But what I do, I have this uh, ice machine. So I'll do the same thing, the same process with the Levi water, the alkaline water. I'll take it over to the ozone machine, add the ozone to the alkaline water, and then make my... Ozone alkaline ice. It's the best ice you can ever possibly have. So it's a little trip into my kitchen showing you what is going on with the alkaline water, the ozone, and this pr pretty cool uh, Primula infused pitcher that I can make alkaline ozone shungite water with. So if, if it so sounds like something you want to check out or try, give it a shot. That's it for now. This is Greg from in5d.com.